RobotFan987 here, coming to you with another video review. Now today I'm reviewing the uh, Code Geass Robot Tamashi Gawain figure. And uh, I gotta say this figure looks very nice. I've waited a while for this figure, but I, uh, I gotta say this is definitely worth the wait. It looks fantastic. Turn it around here. Very, very nice looking figure. As for colors, it has the black, the gold, the orange the uh, kind of a brownish color and the shiny green paint apps as, as well as the uh, metallic gray on the hands there zoom in on the face I don't know if it'll show very well but he has a uh, red eyes painted in there those look really good too as well as the uh, clear base which he comes with now here's the uh, here's the box right here the robot Tamashi Gawain box which is a uh, a bit larger than quite a bit larger than uh, most of the uh, other sized ones shows off some pictures of the Gwen there different plastics used little Lelouch figure he comes with I'll show off in a minute as well as a uh, size comparison with the Lancelot also show that off in a minute so there's the box pretty nice here it is I don't know if how well this is going to show. This is it in uh, comparison with the in-action offshoot Lancelot box. So it's a bit taller, a lot wider. There's a picture of the Gwen on the front or on the top. Bring the figure back. Okay, I'm just for the sake of this review, I'm just going to detach the uh, the float unit from the back there. Uh, here's a little illusion here. If you just uh, pop open this little piece on the back and slide the other one into place, you can see him in there. And uh, he is removable. I put him in there and kind of keep him in there. He's kind of he fits pretty well in there, so I don't really take him out. I'm gonna detach him from the base, relatively easy. Base is made up of a, a few different parts. This one actually rotates a little bit in there. It rotates there at the uh, in the middle, but the uh, the float unit doesn't really stay on very well. So uh, articulation, the head can move, arms can move their own ball joints anywhere you want them. The uh, these little pieces slide up here for more arm movement. The arms go up and down. Bend at the elbow bend at the or uh, rotate at the hand they're on ball joints the fingers move a little bit they rotate there the uh, torso doesn't really have any movement the legs they uh, they move at the uh, the waist there as well as these little uh, armor plates here on the hip move there at the leg at the knee a little bit and then right here they move a lot more articulation there the feet are on ball joints. They can move quite a bit. Here at the uh, ankle, they have little late or skates. Here's the here's the skate feature, the land spinners. It just kind of pops down. In these pieces, you can see the little wheels. They spin really well. Pop those back into place. Pretty easy. And then the uh, ankles move as well at the back of the foot there. Slide that back down. So, a uh, very nice figure. Very good looking figure. Bring it around the back to show what it looks like at the back. Now, the uh, the float unit, unfortunately, doesn't stay on too well. I mean, compared to the in-action offshoot Sutherland, which I have, it uh, it falls out kind of easily. Which, it, it stays on well enough when you're displaying it, but when you're trying to pose it around, kind of have to detach it to do that. So I'll just take that off. Now these pieces right here kind of flip up to show the uh, different cannons. If I can get those up. Yep. And this works on both shoulders. I'm just going to show it on this one because I don't need to show it on both. So those look pretty nice when you flip them up. Now it comes with this battery right here, 
And unfortunately, this is the only accessory that the uh, Gawain comes with, which uh, he uses in episode 20, I believe. Yeah, so you can just put it in his hand there. It's kind of a shame that it's the only accessory. I would have liked to see alternate hands with Slash Harkins, but... Oh well, it doesn't come with that. So we'll have to deal with the uh, the battery. The one accessory. Just to show off some uh, comparisons with other Code Geass figures here, I'll show off the Lancelot right here. And he is to scale with the Gawain, as you can see. Looks good right next to it. Also bring in the uh, Sutherland that I have from the Inaction Offshoot line. These are both from the Inaction Offshoot line. I've reviewed them both. So they're all to scale. There is here's the Arios Gundam, which is the other the only other robot Tamashii figure I have. Not the scale, obviously, but those look good next to each other displayed. And here's my little Lelouch figure, which I'll Just let him talk, that's what he says. He looks cool next to the Gawain as well. Press the zero. So a very nice figure, you can get in some great poses. Here I'll put back the uh, the aerial unit on. Hopefully it'll stay on for this review. Uh, kinda, kinda back heavy, but if you pose the legs it'll stand up alright. So, so I paid about 60 bucks for this figure. I ordered it off of uh, Big Bad Toy Store back in December, and it finally, finally just arrived. Uh, would have liked it sooner, but what are you going to do? So for 60 bucks, I thought that was a pretty good deal, so I took it. Uh, it's definitely worth $60, in my opinion. Definitely worth the wait, definitely worth the 60 bucks that I paid for it. Looks great as part of any Code Geass collection. I'd highly recommend this figure if you have the 60 bucks to spend or higher. I mean, you might have to find this off of eBay, but it's definitely worth the money if you're willing to spend it. It looks great. And uh, other than the flight pack, which is a little bit loose, I have no complaints with this figure whatsoever. I think Bandai did a great job with it. So uh, that's it for this review. Go ahead and check out more of my reviews if you haven't already, if you're interested in those. And uh, look forward to more reviews in the future. So this is RobotFan987 saying, see you next time.